what's going on family what's going on family <clears throat> today we have another video dropping hot okay i'm feeling good this morning i actually just woke up it's nowhere near the morning actually it's like 1 53 p.m but i just woke up and uh how many hours did i sleep last night so i fell asleep around i believe four o'clock all right so four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. So I slept for about ten hours. Okay, I slept for about ten hours last night. And I woke up in between. I would probably woke up around like nine o'clock, ten o'clock, but I I just went back to sleep because um I just felt like sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Sunday. I felt like sleeping, so but um and you know I'm in my favorite place to be. We got nature talking to me right now. You know I'm in my favorite place to be. I'm around nature, so you know there's just no other place I'd rather be. But um, we gonna we gonna kick into it. So last night, let me tell you, last night I had some dreams like. This is probably going to go, and this is why I'm making the video, but this is probably going to go down as, like, one of the, the nights I had the most, like, chained, vivid dreams. Like, I remember so many different dreams so vividly. All right, so we're going to talk about those dreams today. And I'm not going to be pressed for time today. I got space on my phone. You know, typically, um, my videos will cut short because I don't have the most space on my phone. But today... I deleted a lot of the videos, so I have some space on my phone. So we can talk, we can talk, we can make some time today. All right, so let's boogie down into it. because This is crazy, like, this is also another reason I'm making this video is for myself. <laughs> like, I just wanna document everything that freaking happened so I don't forget this, you know? And I have a dream book. I have a dream book where I write down things that I dream about, but, I'd rather make a video on this than, you know, um, dream about it. Or, I'm sorry, just write about it. And, you know, you guys might, <clears throat> you see me, I'm someone who understands that people, most of the time, are focusing on everything aside from the message, right? This is just how it is with me. When I talk to people, people are always trying to read my aura, do fucking everything. Sorry, I don't want to curse. Do everything. I don't mean to curse. Do everything besides actually listen to what I'm saying. So I understand that. And that's why I don't focus on my external anymore. I'm just like, I'm going to get this message out there. And either you get it or you miss it. But regardless if you get it or you miss it, it's not my fault. Because I'm delivering the message anyway. So just think about the power that holds. And not, you know, trying to uh, impress people. And just living for yourself, you know. Like, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Either you hear it or you don't. Regardless if you do, it's not my fault because I said what I said. All right, so my hair is looking a little crazy right now. Twist sticking out. I'm actually growing out dreads right now. So, um, you know, I'm just letting it do its thing. But I'm not focused on my hair. All right, I'm focused on giving y'all a message. I'm not focused on how I look. And anyone can have this power. Anyone can focus on, you know, certain things. We all decide what we want to focus on. All right. We all choose what we want to focus on. We all choose what we want to make our reality about. And me, I'm not going to make my reality about my looks. I don't care about my looks. I don't care how I look. All right. We're all perfect in God's eyes. So I'm not focused on my appearance. All right. Because I know I sound well. I know I speak well. And you guys can all have this energy too. This is why I'm sharing it with y'all. Y'all can all have the same exact energy. Y'all just have to reprogram y'all minds, you know? change up the way you think right who says the way that you think is perfect no one it's perfect is actually not possible so you know we should always be looking to improve ourselves every day no doubt you know another day that you can learn is a blessing right? people want to know it all i'm happy that i know nothing because i want to learn as much as i can that's what makes me who i am right so we're gonna you know, a quick little, I guess, you know, I always want to throw some valuable knowledge in there. Um, but we're going to go into these dreams that I had last night. Next.
And I'm just gonna, you know, I didn't write this down. I'm just gonna speak it from how I remember it, okay? So my first dream, okay? We're tapping into the dream world now. We're, we're tapping into a, a, a different universe, a parallel universe. We're tapping into a portal that we're about to explore. <sighs> and it's crazy, man. Like, you know, I'm here around nature. It's just a good vibe. So my fir very first dream, okay? My very first dream. I'm driving on the highway in Rhode Island. It was more like Massachusetts, all right? I've been out there, so I know what the highway's like out there. And I'm driving and this dude hits me, okay? And I was in an accident recently. I was actually in an accident about a week and a half ago where someone told my car. So, you know, I guess this is kind of what sparked that dream to happen, but I'm not traumatized from it at all. You know, people can't drive, but we're gonna stay on topic. And if you, you know, you got any questions about it, just ask, you know, just drop a comment. You know, people be so scared to comment on my videos. I know I look intimidating. I know I'm confident. But I'm a human. I don't give a damn. I'm understanding. You know what I'm saying? You want to ask questions, ask questions. But anyway. We are... I'm driving on the highway, right? And somebody hits me. Somebody hits me on the highway. So we pull off to the side. And this dude just came out raging. Raging. You know, he was a big dude. Like six you know, 6'2", stoked, like jacked. And he just came out mad as, like mad as ever. Um, and he was trying to honestly, like this dude pulled out knives on me. This dude pulled out knives on me in my dream. And I was like, damn, you know? And something happened where I got like the knives, I got both of his knives, right? But he was still trying to stab me. And I remember in the dream, I remember in the dream, like, I was like, yo, like, you know, I don't, I don't want anything to happen to you. Like, chill out, blah, blah, blah. I was just trying to like, you know, de-escalate the situation as much and just stay tuned, stay tuned because this whole video is going to be a portal. Okay. It's going to be a portal for you. So I am holding this guy's arms and I'm like, yo, just chill, just chill. Like, I don't want to stab you, I, I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to if you don't like, you know, cut the shit. And, you know, I ended up like, as much as I warned him, warned him you know, it wasn't a gory dream, as much as I warned him, he was still trying to just come at me. And it was scary, right? So I had to like, you know, shank him up, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, weakened him. And then out of nowhere, like I ran upstairs and my brother came, you know, he like heard the commotion and he came to, to save me, right? He like tackled the dude. And I was like, thank God, because this dude probably saved my life, you know? And I don't even have a brother. I mean, I do, I actually do have a brother, but um, he lives in Jamaica though. But apparently like in my dream, I had this imaginary brother in my house. He came to save me went downstairs took care of business and the ambulance came you know and then um police came filled out a police report and you know that was it but in the midst of it you know just think about it me being like in that moment like this all happened in the moment you know like i remember this dream like me and this guy were going at it he was way big he was like crazy this big jacked white dude and you know after everything not to bring race into it i'm just describing it but you know, um, after everything, I was okay. I was okay. I was fine. I think it was a little cut. All right. I think he caught me once, but at the end of the dream, I was fine. So that was one dream. That was one dream. Now we're going to toggle into the next. I remember I was walking in like a utopia, right? And I was talking to myself. I was talking to myself. I was, I was asking myself, why do I feel so dead on the inside? Why do I feel so dead, you know? And the reason, actually, this is a conversation I had with myself in my dream, okay? And this is why I wanted to make this video, and this is why it's important for you guys to really tune in, 
because you guys can learn from me. You guys can learn from my energy, take away from my energy, right? In my dream, I was talking to myself in my dream. You know how powerful that is? You know how powerful it is to conversate with yourself, with your higher self in your dreams? You're already your higher self in your dreams. So you are connecting with a higher dimensional version of yourself, much higher than the one that you're gonna access in the 3D, okay? So I was talking to myself in my dream and I was asking myself, <clears throat> why do I feel so dead on the inside? And the answer that I came to in my dream was, um, it was because I'm not communicating enough, you know? I'm, I'm so inside of myself that I'm just not, no one's touching the real me, you know? No one's touching the real me, so. And that's something that maybe I have to work on. <clears throat> but that conversation alone gave me a lot of clarity in the real world, you know? It's like I answered a question for myself in the real world. And I woke up feeling a lot more clear-headed, you know, just naturally a lot more grounded. I felt so much more grounded when I woke up. And I think it's because of this whole series of dreams that I had that really helped me to discover myself and really helped me to connect with myself, right? Because you connect with your high, you connect with yourself in your dreams, obviously, right? You are yourself experiencing another life. So you're obviously gonna gain experience and connect with yourself. So that's why it's important to dream because you find yourself through, through dreaming. Okay, you find yourself in your dreams, but I'm gonna roll through all the dreams I had, you know, and then we'll have like a little summary at the end, a little uh, learning lesson at the end. So, you know, after that clears out, you know, I've had this repetitive, you know, you, ha you ever have dreams where you are in the same place, you know, over and over again, different times that you sleep. So I had this one dream, I was like downstairs in my house and it was like a little fitness, little fitness area whatever and um it was like a little fitness dream whatever that was a short-lived dream so then i went into this utopia and i was walking down the street and i started talking to myself started talking to myself that's where i answered these questions and then from there you know my next dream was that i bought this old car i bought and i'm missing one dream but it's fine so we're gonna tap into this last dream. I bought an old car, okay? The car that I bought is a Nissan 180SX. There's 180SX that I bought. And the reason I bought this car was because I, I, I'm, you know, obviously I'm looking for a car right now in the real world, right? After my, after my car was totaled. So I'm looking for a car in the real world, so. I bought this car, it's 180SX. I want a car in real life that I can drift. You know, this would probably be my ideal car that I would buy in the real world, but you can't find these. Not for the price that I, not for the budget that I have. So, I bought this car, right? I bought this car and, you know, dreams just be all over the place. So, all of a sudden I was driving back from college I had a three hour drive and you know I like instantly like teleported to like having two hours in. And then I pulled into this Dunkin' Donuts. It was like a Dunkin' Donuts, you know? It wasn't a legit Dunkin', but it was, it was like a Dunkin'. So I pulled in and I parked. And I walked inside, you know? And it's funny, I remember in the dream I was looking at the car multiple times because there were so many people. It was an active parking lot. So there's all these people coming in, so-and-so. And I walked inside and it was like college. It was like college again. And I was I sat at a table with my college friends. You know, it was like a circle table. You know, my friends from college. And we, I was just eating at first. Like I was eating hella donuts. I remember saying to myself, I shouldn't be eating so many donuts but I was eating them anyway. 
I was eating them anyway. And, you know, I could afford a couple donuts. Shoot. <laughs> sitting on my lungs, boy. But, um, anyway. So I'm sitting at this table with uh, my college friends, and it's like LeBron James comes in. It was, and it was like a young version of him. It's like 18 year old LeBron James comes in. And my friend starts making fun of him. All right, my friend starts making fun of him. And um, what happens? Like, dude's just like walking away, you know? But he like looked at me. He was just getting salty, he was getting flamed, and I was laughing. I wasn't trying to be a dick, but whatever. He was looking at me, and you know, my friend was just flaming him. And all of a sudden I had a girlfriend. It was this girl, Olivia, from my college that I used to go to. She was like my girlfriend in my dream. You know, a lot of us guys, a lot of the guys, we just have like a random girlfriend in our dreams. A lot of the times we just have this random girl who sticks with us in our dreams. So in this dream, you know, my girlfriend was this girl from college, Olivia. And I don't know how deep I want to go. Nothing like that, like that. But, um, you know, like me and her were talking, vibing, because she was my girlfriend in the dream. And we were just talking. We were just, ch you know, chatting it up. And um, she was like, oh, that was be raw with y'all. So she was like, you know, I'm, I'm your girlfriend forever. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. And we put our arms together, right? And she was like, I'm dark enough. I'm dark enough. <laughs> Um, it's mad funny because you know me. I uh, genuinely, for the sake of the whole entire world, I need to have a you know black girlfriend. For the sake of the world, it's not even about me. It's not even about me. It's just the world needs to see you know black couples together. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's not enough. So I need to be someone who stores faith in black on black relationships, right? So and that's just you know something I put on myself. But, um, you know, it's just what it is. Like, I feel like there needs to be more of that and there's not enough. So, you know, I, I really only look for, you know, a melanated woman as a wife or a girlfriend. And, um, yeah, so and that's why in the dream she was like, you put our arms next to each other and like her, her arm was like darker than mine. All right. But in the dream, she was like Indian. And it's fine. Like I'm not, you know, what I'm saying I'm not racist. Most of the most in most of my dreams, like my dream girlfriend is a white girl. You know, that's what y'all. So don't think I'm like, oh, raise above. Nah, it's just it's beyond me. <laughs> this stuff is beyond me. Life is beyond me. This video is beyond me. It's not for me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So um, that dream though, like it was crazy because there was just so much that was happening in the parking lot. Every five minutes I was looking at the parking lot, there was like different people coming in. I remember at one point there was nothing but like, when I left, there was nothing but um, just pickup trucks. It's nothing but pickup trucks like surrounding my car. And you know, at one point it was like tuner cars. And when I walked out to leave, there was like this dude that I shot his car. He's like, yo, take some pictures of my car, shot his car. And yeah. You know, I don't want to breeze through all the dreams, but I feel like we're like approaching the end here. So, you know, I was eating with my friends, eating the stuff in my face with donuts, just like all you can eat. And it was crazy, man. That's that's what my old college was like. Um, you know, it was an all you can eat buffet. So we just eating as much as we could, as much as we wanted to. So, um, you know, finished eating, like, left, gave my girlfriend a kiss, goodbye. Because I was like, I got to go. You know, I was there for too long. I was like, I got to go back home. Like, still got this time to drive. You know, I, I remember the time on the clock. It was getting late. I spent the day. I spent the day with my girlfriend in the, you know, inside the cafeteria. I spent the day with her. I was like, all right, like, I spent time with, the, like, I spent the day with, you know, with you, so... I gotta go back home. I gotta go back home. So, what else happened? All right, so I, I walk out, right? I walk out of the cafeteria slash Dunkin'. I say it was Dunkin' because I was eating donuts. But I walk out. 
and I get into my car, you know, and it, it was a manual. So I really do want a manual car right now. So it was a manual and I get in and what I did was I drifted out of the parking lot. I drifted. So, you know, I hit a little drift and it felt smooth, but I hit my back wheel on the curb. Like I bumped my back wheel on the curb, but it wasn't anything crazy, you know, like I know how cars are. It wasn't nothing crazy. So I bumped my back wheel as I'm drifting. And then, you know, finished the drift. And then we're driving. We're driving. We're on to the next scene of my dream. So I'm driving down this road. And it's like I'm in Atlanta now. Okay. Because actually, uh, for the most part, I, I live in Atlanta. Right? I'm in New York right now. But, you know, I live in Atlanta. So... We get up to like the street in, in Atlanta, like Main Street in Atlanta. And you know, I get out my car, I park my car, I turn the lights off, I get out, and I'm looking for, you know, these people. All of a sudden I'm a beat producer, all of a sudden I make beats. So I'm looking to connect with some people, right? I'm on my business grind now. I'm looking to connect with some people so I can, you know, get myself out there. And, you know, help some people as well because I made fire beats. Everything I do is fire. You know, there's beats, photography, everything I do is fire. So I get out of my car. I, I speak to someone across the street. It's nighttime. I speak to someone across the street. And then I walk up these stairs. I go up these stairs into like this like private studio. And right on the corner are these two people. It's these two celebrities that like in my head I was like I know I've seen you guys before they're not real celebrities but in my dream they were they're like these twins that like they look similar I was like I know I've seen you guys before and they were like they were like um yeah yeah you definitely seen us before you know like where's so and so and I was like hmm I was like you guys don't know me but you will one day I promise that's what I said to them and like, you know, I turned and like walked away. And like, you know, my friends from college were kind of just like watching me talk. And this is really, really symbolic as well. It shows a lot of growth because I didn't even tune into this in my dream. But like I said, you grow a lot in your dreams. You have real life experiences in your dreams and you learn how to grow. You just grow from experiences. So, you know, my friend was looking at me and typically, you know, it's not that I'm not confident but typically when people look at me i always like put my energy to them you know i'm like why is this person looking at me like i always give them my energy because of like insecurities i guess so but this time i just always looking at me and i just didn't even like you know tune into it i just kept on rolling and that's great that shows a lot of growth because normally i would like look at him like you know just kill my whole vibe just to you know but Nah, I just kept on rolling, stayed, you know, to myself. And I'm walking now further down the studio and I, and you know, I told them about my beats, but they were like too famous. They didn't, they didn't really want my beats. But then like, you know, four steps later, all right, I'm talking, I'm face to face with this girl and this girl is beautiful. This girl is like absolutely beautiful. You know, she was, she was a Caucasian, but one of her eyes were like green and yellow. Okay, she had that, you know, disease where your eyes are two different colors. One of her eyes were green and yellow, and her other eye was blue. And, you know, the white girl, like, obviously she's bad. And then her hair was like, like, it was like yellow, red, green, like, it was she was a vibe like she had blonde hair but it had like yellow green orange like at the at i'm sorry green orange like just different colors you know different vibrant like rainbow like colors at like the the tips of her hair and with her eyes like being two different colors it was just like fire it was fire so i just started talking to her i was like you know i make beats you know i'll send you some beats you know use them on your track and then you know shoot them back to me and she was like, cool, cool. Like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So that was the last part of my dream that I remember. And that was crazy, you know. 
this also i forgot to mention like <laughs> this one dude just came up to to my table when i was sitting with my college friends and i was like who is this dude but then i remembered i saw him jogging in another one of my dreams i saw him when i in the utopia dream i saw him jogging so i was like oh you're like just because he was jogging like you know i saw him when he was jogging i was like yeah i respect that i respect that so he came to my table and I didn't question him. I just started talking to him, you know, because I was like, I already knew his energy. So I just, you know, we just started vibing, whatever. And, but, um, yeah, like, you know, after I spoke to that girl, the dreams kind of just ended there. I woke up it was like 120 or 150, I don't remember. Hopefully 120. And, yeah, so that's where my dreams ended. Whew. And that was last night. <laughs> I was one night, okay? Now, every night, I always have some vivid dreams. Every single night, I have vivid dreams. Every single night, I have vivid dreams. And it feels great when I can wake up on my own terms. You know, I'm in a better mood when I wake up when I want. I can sleep for nine hours, but if you wake me up, it's gonna, to me, it's gonna mess up like my whole day. So, you know, it feels great when you can wake up on your own terms. So that's well, that's like the cherry on top, you know, the icing on the cake. For me, in my life, is when I can wake up in my on my own terms. Like, so I'm sleeping and I just wake up, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, organically. I love that. So I woke up and I was like, damn, you know, like, sheesh. Like, your boy was dreaming last night. <laughs> vivid dreams you know like i told you guys a lot but there's still like a lot more that you guys you know like i'm telling you the vividness of that fight that i had with that dude that hit my car she was so real it was so real you know when you guys want to find out you know you guys want to ask how do i have such vivid dreams you know people think i'm just lucky you know people think like you know you're just lucky like some people dream some people don't no that's not what it is i condition myself to tune in with myself so when i dream i'm always conscious conscious and i'm always tuned into myself and how i became more tuned into myself was just by being around nature okay um i used to smoke weed all right and nothing you know bad you know, I was actually thinking about smoking again on Monday, today's Sunday. I was thinking about smoking again tomorrow. But the dream that I had, like, honestly healed all my traumas, you know. It really healed me. It really healed me. It really grounded me. So, I'm not going to smoke tomorrow. I don't need to smoke tomorrow because I'm fine, you know. But it's, it's crazy because, like, life changed. Life changes so much. You know, you learn so much. Your perspective changes. And it's traumatizing. So that's why I was going to smoke. So I was like, I just need to be grounded again, you know. But those dreams really saved me last night. So how can you guys dream the way I'm dreaming? How you guys can dream the way I'm dreaming is tune into nature, man. Get away from your cell phone. Lay down outside without your cell phone. And just connect with yourself. Just be connected with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Meditate. And I don't mean sitting down and turning your mind off. But that's even more beneficial. But most people don't have the patience for that. When I say meditate, I mean talk to yourself. Right? Sit down. Lay down on the ground. Lay down on your back. And just close your mind. Like just. You know what I'm saying? Just hear nature. Because nature has a sound. And the more you hear nature in your everyday life, the more you're connected to nature, the more connected to yourself you're going to be. So you hear nature. Can you hear nature? Because I can hear nature. Okay? That sound is what you need to level up. You know, you need to hear that more. And hear less of yourself. That's how you raise your own frequency. Right? Because nature vibrates at the perfect frequency. 
nature vibrates at the perfect frequency. So what that means is, that's why when people go outside, they feel better because nature vibrates at the perfect frequency. You know, they feel happier. You know, it's better to go outside, especially when the sun is out. It's, it's cloudy right now. When the sun is out, nature really does its, you know, it really does its job. So just hear nature more and hear less of yourself. And that's how you're going to connect more with your higher self. Okay. And smoking does help because what smoking does, what smoking weed does is this. Smoking weed, it makes you more vulnerable to the outside world. Okay. It makes you more vulnerable to outside energies. All right. Your defenses are lowered and you're more connected with the spiritual world. So when you smoke around nature and just chill and just vibe in nature while you're high, nature is going to come into your body more. Nature is going to enter your universe more. And it's going to, you know, just be inside of you more. You're going to have nature in you more. You're going to have the frequency of nature in you more. And that's what you want because most people, they vibe at a low frequency. All right. So when you get nature inside of you, obviously it's gonna raise your frequency. You're gonna be happier, you're gonna have clearer thoughts and so on. You know, there's there's many benefits, you know, probably a lot that we're not conscious of. I'm not conscious of, but nature is your best friend, all right? And we are nature, we are nature. You see this? I just so happen, whatever. You see this right here? It's already dead, so I'm gonna break it. You see this? This is life. Okay? Look at me. Now, this is life. Right? This is life. You see that? Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Right? On both of my hands. You see that why? You see that why? Same exact thing. We are nature. Okay? In our veins, you see this same exact pattern. It's more like this coming down from your bicep. Okay? We are nature. In our lungs, you have the same exact pattern. Okay? We are nature. So let's reconnect with nature. All right? There's nothing more important on earth than reconnecting with nature at all not a damn thing not what's going on tomorrow not the car that you bought not your bills nothing is more important on earth not even your family because this is about you and there's no one else inside of your head besides you and nature is there to make you feel better so connect with nature right so for me what made me have more vivid dreams was one day, and this is life changing. This is what changed my life. And I'm kind of rushing it because I don't know when my phone is going to cut out. I'm happy I made it this far, but I'm going to stay focused. So what really, really made me start dreaming vividly again. One day, I was actually right over here. I was in the same exact area. All right, I was under some trees like, like this. I was under some trees. But I was inside of my car. I was inside of my old Prius and that was like my happy place. I was happy there. So I was inside of my old Prius and I was just chilling. And I was just chilling in my car. And I smoked. I was high, I got high, I smoked. And I was just, after I smoked, right? You know, and I learned from this experience. I didn't know that this was gonna connect me more to nature. I was just doing it because it felt good at the time. So I smoked. And I laid down, I was just laying down in my car, like, you know, I put my seat back, I was just laying down, had the trees like all around me. And believe it or not, I fell asleep. I fell asleep, you know? But that sleep that I had, when I woke up, I was in a different universe. I was in a different, I was in a different, my frequency had completely changed. It was like I consumed the weed spiritually. It's like I ate the weed. It's like I had a spiritual stomach that ate the weed and it process, pro, you know, processed while I was sleeping. 
And when I woke up, it had processed. And I was sleeping and I guess, you know, the weed making me more vulnerable to the frequency in nature. And obviously I was very comfortable, so my guards were down. You know, you gotta be vulnerable as well, right? You can't smoke weed. I mean, no, it's gonna help you anyway, but it's gonna help you more if you're more vulnerable. I was gonna say you can't smoke weed and be on your phone the whole time. Whatever, you still can, you know? But you're also opening yourself up to different spirits by doing that as well, because you're consuming the spirits that you see on TikTok, most likely. You know, consuming those spirits. You don't want those spirits in your head. You want this energy in your head right here, nature. So I fell asleep after I smoked. And as I was sleeping, you know, it was just like surgery. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like nature coming into me as I was sleeping, as I was just, I don't remember dreaming. I just passed out. But when I woke up, I was so at peace. I was so at peace. I've never not been at peace again from that moment at all so i guess the secret is fall asleep fall asleep with some weed all right get high fall asleep around nature that's it that's the key to to connecting with yourself all right so yeah um you know i'm feeling good right now i'm really into this video but um, I think that's good right there. You know, I got I got to work today. I got to work all day. So we gonna get to the grind. The sun's coming out again. I'm in the shade right now. Whatever. It don't really make a difference. I'm still outside. Still taking in nature. Still connected to nature. Still hearing nature. Right. You really have to hear nature. You have to be conscious. What you have to do is be conscious of the sound of nature. Okay, be conscious of the sound of nature, right? Hear nature and be aware that you're hearing nature. And that leaves less space inside of your head, less, less space inside of your universe for other entities, all right? Because nature is God. Nature is God. So when you connect to nature, you connect to God because basically it's outside of you. God is outside of you, right? So just think about that, reflect on that. And, uh... I'll catch you guys on the next video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, please drop a like. You know, help this to help help my page to get out there. And, our, you know, page has been growing. So I appreciate you guys for helping the page to grow. You know, I appreciate you guys for that. Um, you know, appreciate you guys for dropping likes, tuning into the videos, and helping me to feel like I'm not talking to myself anymore. That's great. You know. I feel like there's actually people out there that are listening to me and that's so powerful and needed i promise you for me and for you as well so i love you all from the bottom of my brother of a brother's heart i know i love you guys for listening greatly and if you made it this far yeah you're my best friend just know that you're my best friend so you know don't ever feel like you don't have a friend you can always talk to me you know drop a comment obviously help me you know talk to me I'm here, I'm just doing me, you know, while you're doing you. Learning from me, picking up my energy, picking up my frequencies, and applying them to your own life. I got my necklace on today. This is my uh, my favorite necklace. This is my only necklace. This is, um, this is a little like a uh, pendant. It says uh, my birthday. 215.96 and it says my name Marlon actually no this says 215.98 that's when this was made 215.98 it has my name on the back and on the front it's a picture of me and my mom you can see it right there so I just carry this dearly because you know my mom is like my other half it's like my energy really Everyone, my whole entire life was dedicated to my mom believe it or not you know, I went to college just to get a degree to help my mom. <laughs> I went, I did track in high school just to help, guess, just to get, just to get, get a scholarship so that my mom doesn't really have to pay bills in my college. So that was my biggest driving force 
in college in uh, high school doing track was to get a scholarship so my mom doesn't have to pay bills and that motive helped me to become or made me to become one of the fastest sprinters in the history of New York ever um, you know I'm top 50 for the 400 meter dash at all time um, 300 meter dash as well and in college you know what I learned from high school the mentality applied it in college you know applied that same energy that same anger and I'm you know top two I think all time for the 500 meter dash you know um, and this is a D1 university so you know being motivated by God which like I said is something outside of you for me it was my mom which is outside of me whenever you're motivated by God you do a lot better so make sure your motives are something outside of you you know and mo for most people they are you know they want to make money for their family that's outside of them you know what I'm saying people who are the least motivated most stubborn doing the least in life are the ones that really only care about themselves when you put god first you achieve more right so yeah man i can talk all day but i'm not trying to all right i gave y'all a lot in this video i hope y'all really saw my dreams and just learned from my dreams because that drawing was crazy oh and you know i told you guys how i dream so or what got me to dream so deeply but um yeah ended on a high note catch you guys on the next video please show love like subscribe help my channel to grow you know influence more people get my name out there and uh yeah catch you guys on the next video all right peace out monty ladies